Critical race theory has captured the nation's attention over the past year, and we wanted to know if it's being taught in our local schools. And why it's become so controversial. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli getting answers for us tonight. Critical race theory, which has made headlines across the country, is a framework that has never been taught in Massachusetts public schools. We, we're about educating kids. We're not about indoctrination or any of this foolishness. One local chairman's response to why the framework is not taught. What exactly is the theory? Why is it still surfacing? We took our questions to some experts. First, we learned CRT is a theoretical framework which examines how racism is embedded in U.S. institutions, like the criminal justice system and housing. Springfield College education professor Stephanie Logan weighs in further on why that theory is not taught at the K-12 level. It is just a tool for us to examine laws, policies, and procedures, and its root comes out of legal studies. But it's not something that is developmentally appropriate for students in PK through 12th grade. And Western New England law professor Bridget Baldwin adds even the mention of critical race theory has resulted in more than nine states, including New Hampshire, banning discussions on race altogether. Critical race theory is not about, OK, let's let's make white people feel bad about their ancestors. We have to be able to have that dialogue without feeling like somebody is the victim and someone is the villain. Western Mass News digging deeper to understand the public school curriculum in Massachusetts. Last adjusted in 2018, CRT was not included, and there are no plans for that to change in the future. However, discussions surrounding race and diversity serve as a guiding principle for the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education's history framework. Thomas Scott, the executive director of the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents, tells Western Mass News the curriculum is vital. Yeah, we do need to look seriously at how we may make a more equitable system for kids to be successful. But high school student Alex Nickel has his doubts about the curriculum. As I said, I, I'm not for you know teaching a, through the lens of race. I think that we should be colorless, but I also don't think that any type of curriculum from race to those issues should also be pushed on students, but it definitely shouldn't be required in classrooms. Nickel is a junior at Ludlow High School, where school committee chair Michael Kelleher tells Western Mass News the topic has repeatedly surfaced. We certainly are, are mindful of, of um, kids' social and emotional well-being, but that does not equate with uh, critical race theory. In South Hadley, community members took initiatives of race and diversity one step further by forming a racial justice task force in 2020, made up of teachers, administrators, and students' family members. Dr. Jen Matos, the assistant chair of the South Hadley School Committee, thinks students might even be the best at discussing equality. If there's any group that really gets the concept of fairness, it's children. We learned more from Sarah Tatro, who is implementing these lessons into her fifth grade social studies classes. I try to um, paint a picture of everybody who was involved in history and not just, you know, the big names that we read about. And Matos adds the goal is bringing people together. We're not here to change anyone's beliefs and values. We're here to make sure that everyone's beliefs and values fit and have and have room to exist. For Western Mass News, I'm Matt Satilli.